Hello Aquarius, welcome to Karma on Deck. I'm Karma, I'm gonna do your reading for the week of September 25th through October 2nd. Let's take a look and see what's going on for Aquarius. Aquarius, all right. I always hear that song in my head whenever I say the word Aquarius. Age of Aquarius. That and outcast Aquimini. He must be a Gemini rising or a Gemini moon. <laughs> All right, let's take a look and see. Here we go, kids. Boom, first out the gate. You got a lot going on. Seven of Wands. Ooh, there's a lot of tension going on with you, too. I'm liking the moon card here. I'm, uh, well, this is interesting. So there's a lot of pressure on you lately and upcoming. We have the judgment card here and in this deck it's a three-headed dragon there's an anvil here there's a lot of lightning a lot of energy going on we do have the seven of wands which is a little overwhelm and sometimes we can lose ourselves in that we have the moon card here though when i play with this card it always shows up and feels like energy that is um planning um she's taking a good hard look at where she's been she's looking at the moon pisces moon and she's between these two pillars of decision making which we have here the ace of swords and then we have the justice card so as she's making a decision as she's planning for her future as she's looking forward she's taking a good look around at what she does have in place around her and she's starting to acknowledge what's useful, what's good, what's um, wholesome. And she wants to move forward with what that is. However, like I always say, you don't know where you, you don't, can't know where you're going on a map until you know where you are on the map. So this card right here always plays with mapping. It's about you taking good stock of what's in your life, taking good look at what's around you. We have the justice card. So this may infer that you have some legal documents to sign, or it may infer that, you know, there's some mediation going on or some legal matters. We do see things coming back into balance for you. The sun card here, it's a, a complete sign of the zodiac. It has the yin yang and there's um, some awareness is going on for you. Did you have some ahas this week? I am picking up that in this moment while you're taking a good look, you're feeling as if um, your feelings are really coming up. You're starting to plan what you're doing with your money. You have the page of coins. You're starting to map out what you're doing with your money as well as with your life, your spiritual life, your emotional life, um, your financial and work and your relationships. So you're starting to dial in with a bunch of your um, different elements and start to bring them all into play together. I do see a job offer for some of you Capricorn. I myself have one coming up, which is awesome. I'm an Aquarius moon, by the way. So two of coins is referencing, you know, a job offer or an exchange or a new project, collaboration, teams like that. Ah, and you're starting to really pay attention to how you're coming to ground with your money. You have the scale here, that's a little Libra energy, trying to make decisions that are more appropriate. And the mushrooms are all about fantasy. So what is fantasy and what is real? Are you really coming to ground with what your financial planning is? Are you really being realistic about your, your expectations and your resources? Fate, I'm liking that for you. Aquarius, I'm an Aquarius moon, so this feels a lot like what's going on with me, interestingly enough. So we have the Wheel of Fortune, fate, the gears are turning, things are starting to become unstuck for you. So I was doing a post yesterday, well, I was in the middle of a conversation with spiritual bodybuilder Nam and I were talking, and I said, you know, I'm feeling stagnant, and I had this aha moment, I don't know if I was on the treadmill or what I was doing, but I had this moment where I was asking for motivation from those around me and I was like, say something. And there was this moment where I realized that I'm the one that needs to say something. So I changed the music that I was listening to. I got up a little earlier. I went outside on the treadmill. I started to move my body around and I recognized that, you know, indecision is a decision and we don't have problems. We have decisions to make. So if we have a problem, what we are looking at is the junk, right? All the elements that are, unpleasant about it or that we need to change or shift and fix and so it really is an indecision that blocks it's it's um the lack of making decisions and sitting in the space that we've created and not making any moves toward fixing it or um bringing it back into a picture that we're happier with so yeah get decisive guys so here is a split decision you have a decision to make um this is showing up here both with the two of swords <laughs> Funny. Okay, so literally the Two of Swords is indecision. So as you look at this card, 
it's all about sitting between these two decisions and then not making one and staying in that place and it becomes frustrating and we know that it's two steps forward one step back we don't we feel like we're in the same place no matter what we do we feel like we're losing one or if we gain the other and it's six of one half dozen of the other and that's the decision making just exactly what i was talking about so this energy for you aquarius you also have the four of coins which is you pulling money into your resources and trying to bring that to ground that goes into play with all the other things that are happening for you here and we also have the eight of coins you getting back onto your feet with um pushing things forward and making things happen in your financial arena so to speak that's your the beginning of your reading for Aquarius. I am Karma. If you want a reading with me, karmaondeck.com. You can also find me on My Psychic One. Let's pull a card for you from Divination of the Ancients. This is fun. Oh, Aquarius, we're going to go right. Wishbone. Okay, so let's see what Wishbone has to say for you. Wishbone. So the description of this card is got to do with affirmation. Manifestation and affirmation. So it says this cards, <laughs> how cool is this? This card marks new life, whether it comes in the form of a long awaited baby, a new venture, adventure, a great change for the better. It signals the perfect time to birth new ideas and restart projects that have been stuck in the pipeline. We were just talking about that feeling stuck. Um, this is a very fertile time for you. So get your creative juices flowing and focus on all you would like to bring about. Keep your thoughts positive and see the best in and for yourself. To ensure the magic of the wishbone blesses your hope for a new life, say daily affirmations for all that you wish for and all that you desire to be. Oh. <coughs> Ew. <laughs> Sorry. It says the time is right and your success is assured. So breathe in renewed energy into all that has been waiting to come into fruition. And that's kind of cool for me because I know I had been paying attention to my Capricorn reading where it has thinking about doubt and how I am doubtful of the promises that are being made around me and what things are moving forward, whether they're actually gonna play out. And I know that I had been sitting there you know, wondering what was going to shift and this is actually really going to be happening for me. And I just have to trust with that. Right. So it's interesting to see where it says for me being an Aquarius moon and a Capricorn sun, how these are playing into one another, because it's true that this is an affirmation for me emotionally. So the incantation says, I'll start right now with no delay. Creativity is the way in projects new. I hold no doubt success for me will come about. And that's kind of what I had did this morning was in that stuff moment in that emotional phase where I didn't feel like I could make an effect on the things that were going on around me I had made a decision that I would make a list I would get um, my shit straight I would get up I would get going and I would just do something positive for myself because as I sit here and realize there's no one else in control besides me and how I design my world and so I did get up and shake those off so wishbone wishbone darling did i read the affirmation for you i think i did i'm gonna read it again anyways because it just popped into my head i'll start right now with no delay creativity is the way in projects new i hold no doubt success for me will come about yeah, it is. I had to read it again. Anyways, guys, that's your reading for Aquarius. Catch me on the live. I will see you guys next week. Much love and light to you. I'll see you next time.